Look at this small raptor, the Amur falcon. Why it is so special? To know, watch this video till the end. See, the Amur falcon is a type of small raptor which belongs to the genus Falco of the family Falconidae. The scientific name of the Amur falcon is Falco amurensis. See, it breeds mostly in southern parts of Siberia and in north China. Amur falcons migrate in large numbers and during migration, the Amur falcon covers a distance of about 22,000 kilometers, thus making it one of the longest distances covered by migratory birds. See, Amur falcons while migrating from Siberia to South Africa, it flies through India. Know that it migrates to South Africa to spend the winter there because the winter is more severe in Siberia which endangers the survival of the bird. Then after crossing India, it flies over the Arabian Sea and arrives in South Africa. Mostly they feed on insects in the mid-air. See the dragonfly migration also coincides with the migration of Amur falcon over the Arabian Sea. Hence they turn out to be a most important source of food for Amur falcons. See during migration through India, it stops in Nagaland, parts of Assam and Manipur. Know that Nagaland is known as the falcon capital of the world. Nearly 1 million Amur falcons roost every year in Nagaland. That's why it was declared as the falcon capital of the world by the ornithologists. See, the Nagaland is now undertaking the first aviation documentation exercise. It is planned to be conducted for 4 days, that is from November 4th to 7th. See, the 4 day bird count will coincide with the post harvest Toku Emang festival of the Lodas. Know that the Lodas are the Naga community people who are mostly present in Oka district of Nagaland. Note that the Oka district is the most preferred stopover of Amur falcons while they are travelling from East Asia to Southern Africa. Particularly the Doyang reserve which is located in Pangti village in Oka district of Nagaland is one of the most famous places where Amur falcons roost during their stay in India. See these birds roost in Nagaland for a span of one month. Know that these birds also help in maintaining the ecosystem by feeding on a large number of insects and that puts a check on the population of insects. Now talking about characteristics, it weighs about just 150 grams. See the male birds are mostly grey in colour and the females are having orange underparts. This is all about Amur falcons. Now talking about the conservation of Amur falcons, see these birds are placed under the category of least concern in the IUCN's red list of endangered species. Also note that Amur falcons are protected under the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 and it is included in the Schedule 4 of the Act. It is also listed in Appendix 2 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. And it is also protected under Convention on Migrated Species which is also called as Bond Convention. Now we will see some facts about Bond Convention. See Bond Convention is an intergovernmental agreement signed under the auspices of United Nations Environment Programme. It focuses on the protection of migratory species on a global scale. Note that India has joined the convention in 1983 and is currently a party to the convention. I hope now you got your answer for the question why Amur falcon is so special. To know more information like this, watch the Hindu news analysis of Shankaraya's academy regularly. Thank you.